Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? summer vacation. A bit more time to play, but how to play when you don't see your friends every day? Start a shared art exploration. Over the next three weeks, our Art Starts team is going to play a group art making game or collaborative exploration. Remember rule three of explorers? Nothing is for keeps. This week, we're going to explore that nothing is for forever keeps. Try making something not for keeps, but instead of taking it apart, give or send it to someone else. Tell them that they can use, make, or take apart what you send, but encourage them to do the same thing. And when you get what they send you, Check it out, take it apart, use it, see what happens. Join us this month as we explore this collaborative making activity that can connect you to your friends and family while you are apart. What will you try and make together? Hello, my name is Kay Slater and I'm the gallery facilitator and preparator at Art Starts in Schools. This month, we're exploring mark making. And I'm excited for the first week of us exploring mark making that we are going to explore distance and mark making. Distance is just the measurement of how close or how far away something is from something else. So, for example, the distance from my hand to this pencil. I could get a ruler out and measure it. I could take another object and use it to measure the distance from one thing to another. I could see what happens when I move it closer or further away. 
That's what I mean when I'm exploring distance. But how do we do that with mark making? If you just want to watch me explore distance and mark making, that's totally cool. If you want to make along, do you have some paper? Any paper is great. Do you have a mark making tool? And that's what we're exploring this month. So mark making tools are anything that make a mark. So it's up to you to get to decide what makes a mark. You could use a pencil or a crayon or paint, and that would be great. But what else could you use that makes a mark? We're also going to be exploring distance. So that might mean uh, you could have a ruler and you could measure distance. It could just mean that you're going to move things around and try out different distances. Or it could mean that you are going to play with distance between you and the marks you make. To start with and warm up, I'm just going to fill my page with marks. You do the same thing. Let's play some music for about one minute and taking any of your mark making tools and any of your pieces of paper and fill them out with marks. Let's go. That was a good warm up. Now we have a whole bunch of ready mades or marks that we could take and put into a new project. But I want to keep exploring the mark making, making the ready mades before we make something. So I want to try this whole thing again, grabbing some more paper. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the distance between me and the marks. I'm going to start by doing this by putting the paper really far away from my eyes and see if that changes it. Let's see. What happens when you sit as far as you possibly can away from the paper and marks you're going to make?
check it out. What do you notice? Are there any changes? What's different? What happens if you tried this again, but tried the opposite? If you got really, really far from your page, what happens when you get really, really close? If you got far from your page, but was still comfortable, what happens or what can you do to get further from the page? And that's what I want to try. I want to explore getting further away. So I'm going to take these knitting needles that I have here. And I, and I don't knit. I just have them around because uh, I like that they have a pointy end if I ever needed a pointy end when I'm making art. And I, and I like that they're long. And that's what I'm going to uh, do with these today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and attach my mark making tool to the end of these uh, knitting needles. And now I've got this whole extra, what is this, like 30 centimeters away from my hand. And that means now I've got to see what's different when I add a 30 centimeter distance from me and the marks I make. What about you? What can you do to make yourself even closer or even further away from the marks you make? I'm going to see what happens. Let's go. Great. I really love this. I love what happens when I added it to my knitting needles because I couldn't really control the lines the same way. It meant that I really couldn't have expectations for the line because I don't have as much control. I can't be as certain that when I make these marks, they're going to do what I want. So instead of trying to do what I want with the marks, instead I'm gonna do what I want with the method, which is to put distance between me and the mark making and to see what happens with no expectations. So I'm controlling how I make the marks, not necessarily the different marks that I'm making. Okay, I'm going to leave the camera running for a little bit longer as I make a couple more marks with a bit more distance between me to see what happens. My goal today is really to make as many different kinds of marks as I can using different kinds of methods of putting distance between me and the mark. What about you? How many marks can you make?
I made a lot of marks today. What I'm going to do in the last uh, part of our workshop as I start to wind down is I'm going to take my favorite lines here and I'm going to put them together. I don't really know what's going to happen and I'm not really worried about making anything good or perfect or even finished. I just want to send something to my friends so that they can make and do something with what I tried as well. Maybe they'll see what I send and try to do the exact same thing. Maybe they'll cut my picture up into pieces. I don't know. It's kind of exciting to guess. Okay, let's go. What did you learn today? Did you try anything new? I tried using knitting needles as a way to put distance between me and my Sharpies. And I happened to really enjoy it. Remember, when you try things out in art making, you don't have to like everything you make. Sometimes you might not like it at all. And that's great because you got to learn that you don't like it in this safer and fun making space with you and the other grown-ups or friends that you're making with. I don't really like uh, getting really close up to the page. And I already knew that because I like to see my page. I like to be back and be able to see more. But some people like to really concentrate and get very, very close to the page. Is that you? Is that somebody else? I'm going to leave my camera running like always while I clean up, but unlike usual, I'm going to keep the piece that I made this week over to the side, and then I'm gonna package it up and send it to my friend Elisa so that they can keep making and see what happens to what I explored this week when they explore the following week. All right, I'm going to start cleaning up now, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.